my ride. Over Jackson Hole. There's the boys. <laughs> Tripping around. Oh, it's time to ride. What's up? Let's go. Dude, I'm ready. Time to saddle up. Come on. Right at 9 a.m., brother. Right? <laughs> Got a little pit stop. We're just on the side of Twin Falls. Got some mountains over here. We're like hour two of five. Yeah. Yeah, we got a little ways to go. So be a bit. Yeah. Nice day. Perfect weather. <laughs> What's up, Josephus? What up? <laughs> Road tripping. Check us out, folks. This is a sweet overlook right here. Just right down there. That's where all the magic's gonna happen. A little refuge in the backside. This is cool. The Tetons right there. We're cruising over to Grand Teton to check out the park. It's kind of a bummer. It's the last day of April and it doesn't open until May 1st, so we can't really go through the park, but this is awesome. We just kind of wait, cruise out here, maybe see a moose, maybe see a grizz. But man, this is this is amazing. If you've never seen these mountains, you got to check them out. Like they don't even look real. Oh my gosh! And you just see the big old huge snow slides up there. Man, there's so much snow this year. It's like a record-breaking year for snow out here. The animals had a real tough time. There's a lot of dead ones, but uh, there's, I mean, everything's coming to life. Springtime. Just arrived to uh, Jackson, Wyoming. Got our room, got our key. Let's go see yeah. what we got. Atlanta Motel. That's what we're after right there. Let's see what we got. It's supposed Watch to be. <laughs> <laughs> this is not meant for a fella that's 6'4. This is the honeymoon suite. What? Yes, sir. <laughs> this is supposed to be a one king bed for three guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's think about that. That's not too shabby. We'll get it. We're, we're going to snuggle on this one. Right here. <laughs> That's freaking gross. That's gross, man. <laughs> Where's the heart-shaped tub? That's my question. Okay, there's a sink. <laughs> well, no heart-shaped tub, fellas. Hey, For real, though, our front door view is excellent of the stairs. <laughs> if you're a feet guy, this is heaven. <laughs> you're a dude. <laughs> <laughs> I love feet. Oh, don't drink and stay in this one. <laughs> you get scalped. Oh, whoa. Boosh. <laughs> hey, there's, there's so many big horn in there. Oh, my God. Look at that thing. Like, oh, you'll see something way bigger. Like, look, look at this. Look at the bladed one right here. Oh, my goodness. There's one on this side too. All right, it's the night before. We just fueled up, ate a bunch of pasta, drinking water, very heavily. <laughs> Lots of it. Yeah, but we're back in spot 98 with a bunch of guys. And uh, we're gonna see what we're made of tomorrow because there's a ton of people ahead of us. Tons of horses. But uh, we got a pretty good game plan. We just gotta beat some guys to a couple spots. And I think we're gonna come out with some, some horn. So, I don't know. 
we'll see. I just don't want to get skunked. That's all I care that's about. Fair. Like, that's the goal. Like, want two? Yeah, right. I want three. I'll take. I know. One. I know it sounds greedy, but I found two last year. Yeah. I found zero the first year. Skunked. We all got skunked the first year. Yep. So I guess anything above that's an improvement. <laughs> right. So yeah, yeah. personally, year for me, I'll take. I'll take one. Right. Yep. But this is gonna be our last year because they passed the legislation, and uh, non-residents aren't gonna be able to hunt until a weekend. The listing's over in two hours, so this is uh, the, the grand hoorah. Yep. So I hope it's a good one. Hopefully we come out with pile of horns and you see some happy faces on the other end of this video. <laughs> so, a little luck. We'll see you in the morning. So we're just checking out his pack. Let's get out of the back of the truck and broke his strap. His strap's busted. 30 minutes before we're supposed to take off. <laughs> Dude. Awesome. That's <laughs> getting a little backup backpack. Dude, you know you're gonna find like 10 horns. I, to like <laughs> I can't even strap one horn to Duct tape them. <laughs> Just duct tape them around your midsection, your back. <laughs> it's a rough start so far. Got here, Joe's got a busted pack. We gotta be at the fairgrounds in like 20 minutes. Yeah, we got about 20 minutes to get the fairgrounds. Just, uh, oh my gosh. Dude. This gives me so much anxiety. Sleep last night was non-existent. I didn't sleep. Guys, this like morning a, at 4 a.m. 3.30, we're stomping on the room above us. Oh my gosh. Uh, no sleep for us. I don't know just can't right there. Oh my gosh, right? Dude, did we just get hosed? Oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah, we're getting get cut off. We just lost spots because these guys cheated in. Dude, that's messed up. These guys are cheating. Somebody should have been here stomping. Like legit, I might just go that way. What the fuck are you doing? Not your turn yet. Fuck. Dude, we just lost like 20 spots. Oh, good luck, boys. Yeah, you yeah. too. Oh man, let's go. First Jackson Hole. Oh, I can't talk, I'm so tired. First Jackson Hole brownie, baby. We got one. It's good stuff. Oh. We got another one. Awesome. Oh. <coughs> good Lord, my lungs hurt from this trip. Hell yeah, man. Getting her. Well, folks, it's like, an hour in and I mean, it's literally over. There's so many people out here. Gosh, you guys got like the pop, like 50 spots of so many horns. We got hosed a whole bunch of guys like snuck in out of line. So we got pushed back like 30 spots. I got, I did get three. It's actually, I wanted to get at least one more than I did last year. I only got two last year. I got three brownies. I watched a bunch of people pick up horns right in front of me, too. Duh. This thing is brutal. It's like, I really hope it's been the last year to kill it. But, on the other hand, I've been here and got skunked, so. I got one nice one. And I found a little, uh, 
little raghorn set in the trees. Now I'm just looking for scraps. Like, I hope maybe on the way back I'll find a spiker. But I didn't really get a chance to film because there was just so many people so close, like right on your hills. If you just even slow down a second, you get overtaken and dudes are running snagging horns in front of you. It's just so hard to film. But, <sighs> crazy, crazy. And not a bad view. Jeez. I hope eventually there's a next year. This makes me sad. I can't, as a non-resident, we won't be able to participate in this next year. Because you can see, it's over in a couple hours. So if you gotta wait a week, there's no reason to come. Last year off. Oh my gosh, guys. This shed hunt is madness. First year I've ever been able to do this. Probably not gonna get to come back next year if they don't let non-residents do it. But what a great time. Found a couple, nothing to really brag about. Two five points, little, two little four points. The only thing I like to brag about is that view right there. That is something else. But I have passed a couple people that got skunked. They're pretty bummed out, but you know, they were pretty far in the back of the line. I'd say if you don't draw a good number, you gotta hope you have some horses that can move real quick. Well, heading back to the truck and it's only 8.30, it's already over. Dude, holy cow, that is a freaking load. I think started to take more breaks. <laughs> Look at that. That is awesome. Okay. Yeah, I think he's got some rag. Yeah, he's got like triple, double points. Freaking piles of horn. Pays to be in the second spot. Yeah. Dude, Joe, why don't we do that? Uh. <laughs> you know That's where you did. <laughs> Not too bad. Yeah. See what the rest of the bunch did. Yeah. Except they're all laughs, every one of them. Uh -huh. Where's the pile? Nice, dude. 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 You got some nice horn. Did you get a set? Yeah, did you get a good set there? Yeah? No. no. Is that the first one I saw you pick up? One. Right, cow or something? Yeah. Yep, cow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So funny, okay. funny car story. Did you just like was it like a it dead elk and you yeah. just picked it off? It was on the elk. Walked up and like, oh hey, well, here's a big old right. metal box on it. <laughs> um, dude, pretty sure someone was in there early because there oh, was a yeah. couple bulls. I had two guys from Flat Creek that were 30, 40 horns apiece already loaded, stacked perfectly, and we're walking back out. Right? Yeah, yeah real I, early. I cut some snowmobile tracks. Come on. <laughs> Got some good video in the... No, I'm just this is all the way that way. Professional <laughs> <laughs> shed hunting right here. I think you're gonna start a trend, dude. dude yeah. oh, come here, like, like, come here, please. Like, come this, this kid's like, oh, dude, you rock right there. This Don't kid's like, like that. <laughs> dude, that's funny. That's awesome. That's funny. That makes my day, buddy. That makes my day right there. <laughs> Let's get some sheds. <laughs> <laughs> I, do the old fucking... I think a fishing game guy was trying to like pull me over or whatever if I was out right. there. He'd be like, man, you're good. Just, you're good. I was telling you got attacked by a grizzly bear. Tore your pants off. You're like, yeah, you're like, I'm going to resist. You're going to have to take me down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even covered in a bit of Oh, dude. That's funny. Oh, that's funny, dude. <laughs> Wait, you got to wear one next year. No, I'm, I'm not doing that next year. I'm sorry, bud. Like Never do what I want to do. That's funny, dude. <laughs> oh, here's one of the two eight niners. <laughs> to rip up on a big old brown elk shed and put the thing in your hands in the May 1st Jackson Hole Wyoming opener is an epic experience, one that we look forward to every season. And in fact, we met people who traveled all the way from Texas in New York, just hoping to find one elk shed to take home to commemorate the experience. Well, that's soon going to end. 
Wyoming has passed legislation stating that if you're a non-resident, you may not participate in the May 1st opener. You have to wait an entire week to shed hunt. Well, let me tell you folks, this is over in two hours. And on top of that, they're going to charge a fee, a shed hunting fee, which I find completely ridiculous. That's one thing to say that this has become too popular. There's too many people. They're putting stress on the animals, which I agree. But then when I witness with my own eyes, four wheelers in the middle of the day, in the heat of the day, hazing 7,000 elk on the National Elk Refuge, then I have to question that. Now, it's another to say that you want to give preference to your locals, to your residents, which that's great. I commend Wyoming on that for caring about their residents. But it is for sure not fair to the other states surrounding. States that don't have shed hunting seasons, such as Idaho. So what happens is when you have states that have seasons like Wyoming, Nevada, sometimes Utah, when their seasons are closed, they all go to Idaho. So that's not fair for that state as well. I think there needs to be shed seasons across the board. But I don't think locking people out is a way to do it either. I think there needs to be a lottery possibly like they do in Antelope Island where they only let so many non-residents go in there. Or if you buy a hunting license in Wyoming, you know, those people buying hunting licenses and tags are supporting those animals as well. So I think it's only fair. And I would hope that other people from other states get to experience this just like we did.